Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number seven in our series, statelesscode.com, WordPress. So earlier I had said that I wasn't gonna deal with uh, custom branding, color palette, um, but I played around a little bit in Tailwind Play, so play.tailwindcss.com, and it turns out that it's fairly easy to do this. So I'm gonna go, uh, I have a an old uh, file with some uh, particular uh, brand colors, and I'm gonna get those into the Tailwind config.js file and see if we can get that working with our um, our stateless sage theme here. So um, we'll start taking a look at that and see how far we get. So though I'm gonna use the uh, the W3C color picker here to use the um, to do the different items so I'm gonna go with the um, uh, we're gonna start with gold here so I'm gonna take this go into the config here call it SC gold Fault, which is the original brand color I've got here. And then we'll do similar to what I did with all these. So the Tailwind, if you go and look at the, the Tailwind color palette, they kind of have these breakpoints of 5100 um, and incrementing in 100 up until um, up until 900 so I'm going to do the similar thing and with this so I'm going to get the the item I just pasted into here maybe accurately so here it gives us the HSL and so I can just go in this is starts off at 45 if I want to get the, the 50, I'm going to make the brightness on this 95. Take the, the value there and put it in the 50 here. And so on. So this will be 90% bright, 80, 70, 60, etc. I'll pause and do that. So I've got that in there, and if I go into the HTML of this Tailwind Play now, let's say I want to go from stateless blue to stateless gold, and this is going to be ugly, but just to show that the variables work, that you can, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. So you can kind of do those those sorts of things now, so the, the color is uh, pulling that in there. Um, so that we can do that. And you can hover over if you look at all the um, the CSS classes that get generated and all that stuff. So it's helpful. So we're, we're going to take this now, the config, and we're going to put it into the Tailwind config dot CSS on our theme here, and might need to recompile it. We'll find out. So uh, instead of if we look at the the changes we did in our layout before. Had um, would be the the header where we put these um, these colors. So uh, we had 
gradient to bottom right from gray 700 to um, to gray 400 let's say let's see what happens if we try to change this to SC gold let's see what that does if we refresh our page Also, um, make this. It looks like it changed though. I'm gonna try to make this uh, like a stateless code blue instead of a gray there. So we'll go in to our text. it's there we'll see if it changes blue at all it does so um, looks like my um, my darkness isn't quite at the same level though so I'm gonna make this 100 save it and I'm gonna make this gold probably a uh, 500, maybe even a, a 600. Yeah, that looks. Maybe we can we can tweak this. I'm assuming we save our file. So that became harder to read. I think I do need to, so it, it's it's not actually uh, gold at that edge there. So I'm gonna recompile. Run yarn. Go to the right. Go to the right directory and run yarn build. All right, so we've completed successful. Let's see if that changed anything. Oh, it did. Okay. So that. Yeah, once you, so you, each time you, you modify that Tailwind config file, you need to refresh your, um, your items there. So I'm actually gonna go with the, um, the dark being the uh, the gold on this, and the the light still being the gray. So let's just so SC blue one hundred. We'll See how that looks. I'll play around with this and try to get things how I want it. I'll pause and uh, fiddle with it a bit. Let's 
so I think go back to mobile here I think I liked the gray 7 to 4 there this is a, a little too dark so I'll go back to gray 7 gray 4 I like that. So keeping the the lighter end of the stateless blue there, I think that that works for our, at least temporarily our top um, section of our header. Uh, so I'm going to stop and um, pause again and get the rest of my color palette into Tailwind, and then I'll I'll commit that and uh, run Yarn Build and then commit, uh, and then we'll pick up our next thing that we want to deal with in the next video. So I'll pause and apply those other colors. So one more note before I um, go and do these. So when I went in initially and did these two here, I pretty much only was changing the, uh, the, the lightness and I wasn't modifying the saturation as I went from uh, 50 to 900. And so um, it, if I do that, it's not gonna quite match how Tailwind does its colors. So depending on the, the item there, the, um, the saturation and the lightness uh, potentially vary. So I'm gonna, for the ones that I do, I'm gonna try to pick the closest, um, color from a hue standpoint um, and like you can see for for these I'm pretty sure the hue stays consistent which is um, what I would expect here so here the hue is 183 and you start with like 196 uh, and then when you go down here I would expect that this still is 183, but the oh, 196, so it does change the, uh, the hue slightly as well. I, I don't intend to do that, but um, that's um, how they, they scale it. But you can see that the saturation and the lightness both go down. So I'm going to try to, to stay as close to that as I can. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep everything on the same hue, so my my blue is always going to be 233 and my gold is always going to be 53 but then I'll um, try to scale the other two values to more closely match the other um, kind of the closest color on Tailwind. Alright so I've got my color themes into the config. We will rebuild So we're compiled. Let's see if this changes my I think I might go a bit darker now that I've got things. Try that again. There, that gives me what I want. I think we are good to commit what we have. Let's see if I had anything backlog wise. Go into the Sage repo. Uh, don't know if I had anything for So this is kind of themes layout, color pad palette. Uh, I guess we'll just rename this one because we've already got layout. So we'll just rename this one color palette. There we go. We'll 
save the note there, move it into progress, move it to done, take a look at our, so in addition, you can, you'll notice that the, the logo is working right now uh, without running into things. So in my other series, enough ink escaped to be dangerous, I went and uh, those figures there were uh, fonts, and this font wasn't available on this computer, so I went and converted those fonts into vectors so that it now works on, like, irrespective of what machine you're doing, the, the SVG for the logo will uh, behave properly. So we're going to commit that, um, and then we'll take a look at the div. So, okay, that's, we won't deal with the diff of the SVG. All we wanted to change in there, and then just adding in the color palette. But this will prove useful in the future. So now we've got the the palette the way we want, and we can use those utility classes. Write a commit message. So I've got my commit message, exit out. And push. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.